welcome everyone. This is Athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz. It is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020, and I'm coming to you on this gorgeous spring day from the City Hall campus. I uh, hope you and all those you care about and all those in your world are doing well. You know, once upon a time in my life, I could live sort of footloose and fancy free. Um, there's a lot to be said for aspects of that life when on a random weekend day, I could just pick up and head up to the mountains in Western North Carolina if I wanted to cool off in the summertime, uh, or back in my pizza delivery years, if I found out the replacements were playing in Raleigh, there was no reason not to jump in the car on a moment's notice and head on over to the show. Um, or, you know, even early on in my teaching life, uh, if I found out that Alejandro Escovedo was gonna be singing at the Star Bar in Atlanta, and I happened to be giving a test to my seventh graders the next day, uh, there was every reason to go on over to the show. Um, and I'm glad I did all that, uh, even if it meant that on the way back from Atlanta, I had to stop halfway home in Monroe for a nap at two in the morning. Um, so there's a lot to be said for the, the casualness of life at some points. But uh, I'm finding in this crisis era, uh, we can't always be casual. Um, we can't do things on a moment's notice. Um, uh, it's not as wild and woolly as it could be when I was in my younger life or in other contexts. So we need to be very intentional and very focused now. And we're trying to model that as a government and as an organization. So a couple things you're gonna be seeing in the days and weeks ahead. Um, one is a very carefully phased first step in some new park activities that we're gonna be allowing here in Athens. Uh, environments in which people can be well distanced and enjoy some time outdoors uh, as we need for our physical health and our mental health, uh, but do it in a way that's safe. So be looking for that. And I wanna alert you to that coming very soon. We're also working on a mask rollout program. We anticipate that phase one of this is gonna be around use of athens Clark County facilities, like our transit riders, for example. And we're hoping that a next phase will be broader rollout of masks for the public so that you can be safe and people around you can be safe everywhere you go in the community. Uh, very closely related to that, uh, one of the challenges in this time from the national level and the state level to here uh, is the need to just provide some very simple and very clear guidance. And so I'm working right now with our staff so that we can provide some guidance to everyone in a variety of environments, in retail environments, professional service environments, food service establishments and others, so that everybody's on the same page about the simple things that we can do to stay safe in each of those kind of settings. We're also looking at the months ahead. There are some things that we don't know yet, but we wanna be very thoughtful about gathering information. So I think I've mentioned in the past that we've gathered an epidemiological advisory group and we're meeting with that group very regularly. And we're wanting to try and figure out how as we look at the months ahead and maybe the next 12 or 15 months, how we can use very good healthcare indicators to guide us in a way that we may not have been guided in February and in March of this year. So we're preparing for the road ahead uh, because we have to be really conscientious about how we do that carefully because we understand that there are gonna be aspects of this crisis that carry on for quite some time. I wanna let you know about a few other things. Uh, tomorrow uh, on Wednesday, we're gonna have our next community conversation where I'll be joined by Leisure Services Director Kent Kilpatrick and staff members from Athens Transit, both of whom are gonna talk about operational challenges and what we're doing right now amidst the crisis to support you, the community. I also wanna let you know that you can always check for updates on not only local but statewide activity at accgov.com slash coronavirus. Um, today, the governor is issuing a new order and the contents or the broad outlines of that order will be up on our website. Finally, before I go, uh, I do need to make a little bit of a pitch to you. Uh, you probably heard last week that there has been discussion of up to 14% cuts in state agencies. And certainly we are challenged fiscally as a local government too. And right now in Washington, DC, our lawmakers in Congress 
are discussing how state and local authorities can be financially supported from the federal government. This is a bipartisan effort to make sure that as we move through this crisis and we come to the end of it, whether that's 12 or 15 or 18 months from now, all of the resources that are so significant to the health and life that we love are there. It's gonna be important that higher education, like the University of Georgia, is able to come back strong and come through this strong. It's gonna be important that our physical infrastructure, like transportation planning, is able to come through this strongly. And that's true about our health care and our environmental health infrastructure, too. So I'd like to ask you, if you can, to contact the offices of Senator Perdue and Senator Leffler to let them know that you support state and local efforts that are coming from Washington, D.C., um, because we anticipate that in the next four or six weeks there is going to be some congressional action there, and it's important that our state government and our local government are supported. Lastly, uh, I hope you continue to enjoy the company of your loved ones and spend some time on the phone, on video conferences, um, and with the people who you live with in a way that supports your heart and your soul and that I can tell you is really keeping other people buoyed up and alive and solid. So um, thank you for being such a great community to be part of. I look forward to talking to you soon. God bless.